All right, uh, so I'm making this video to go over. You've got mail. To go over what uh, is Trading View, which is this app right here. Trading View. It was in the middle of the screen. Um, so uh, you download it, install it, and then you're gonna when it comes in brand new you see uh, some stocks and some things you can just delete uh, whatever you don't need uh, let's say you don't want the this one the last one here you just trash delete it I'm gonna keep it the uh, stocks that I'm working with uh, the most are this first four um, Nvidia I'm trying to get for uh, cheaper um, let me see I want to move that up you can only move it to the top okay I didn't want to move it to the top I want this one to be on the top oops you hold it and it moves to the top you hold it moves to the top it looks like Yahoo I guess uh, um, or Robin Hood yeah Robin Hood I think had the same system so uh, you you open immediately SPXL uh, you have to add it it doesn't come with it press the back button there you you go you click on the hourglass and you search it for it SPSX let me spell it SPXL I meant so it's the direction you see there's, there's a bunch of them for different countries you want the the one I'm using is the US oh is a New York NYSC ARCA fund the S&P You can, uh, if you want to learn more what this SMP, SPX, you can search it and read a lot about it. Um, there is plenty of data uh, in, available in the internet. I'm, all I'm going to say is that, well, I'm not giving advice. I'm, I'm just showing how this app works. Um, and what this is the one that I'm using the stock that I'm buying and selling now it's not even a, a stock it's called an ETF and you can look up what ETF means and um, the only thing I know about it is that it's a um, when you buy the stock they buy stocks everywhere from the S&P 500 and they keep them and when you sell it they sell it <laughs> but basically that's that's the basic idea but you're not the only one buying it so they have a lot of money and a lot of people buying at every second or and they keep buying all, all the time and whatever price it is when you sell that's the price that you get and that's it um, they show you the price and you put your bid and you and you get what you get at the time that they sell them and i guess they sell them first they say okay this guy wants to sell so let's sell him we got him for this much that's how much you get and that's it uh but I'm not an expert. I don't know if it if it's exactly that, but that's all I know. Okay, so 
so you are very diversified with this. And the other thing is that there is a leverage. Um, that, and I'm, th I'm just lagging because I'm thinking about uh, I'm thinking about another word. Hold on. Margin. Oh yeah, there is a word uh, margin, uh, and there is leverage. So this is leverage because it when you buy one, they buy two more for you. So they are lending you money when you're buying because it's three x leverage. Um, so. If the S and P goes up one percent, you're gonna yours and you bought, you're gonna make three percent, not just one percent. So that's what leverage means. It means that they're buying more than what you are paying for. Um, they are lending you the money. Um, and how 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 comes they lend you money? Is because it doesn't really go three x. It goes a little bit less. And you're paying some interest, but there is no credit check or anything like that. You just buy, it and, it's, and you're done. Uh, there's no no credit check or anything. You can just buy it. <clears throat> Automatically, they're lending you the money, and all that goes in the price. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The, what was the other word that I said? Leverage and margin now margin account um on the other video i said leverage account but i meant margin account uh that's this is not this software that i have here this software that i have here is for checking out the prices for and for giving you um um although don't take my word for it maybe you can buy here using this but i'm not sure i think you have to link an account with this um no i don't know i don't know much about this software i don't know i wouldn't trust them yet i haven't done enough search <clears throat> but i like the alarm so i'm using just i'm just using the alarm for now until i get to know them better and i'm using this an, as an example right because this is a tool that i'm using i'm using it as a tool um, so the other word that I was co trying to explain is um, um, margin. Margin. A margin account means that um, you, if you have, let's say, five thousand dollars in the account, you can buy ten thousand dollars, double. Um, of uh, what you what you have, so you can invest ten ten thousand bucks with only five thousand dollars. That's a margin account. Um, as far as I know, your IRA is not a margin account, but. I may be wrong. That's that's just what I was told from Ameritrade, which is the one I'm using. I'm I'm not sure. I still have to look into that. The other thing that I don't know is that why is not a margin account? Is there a reason why? You cannot have a margin on an IRA. Is there a law? I don't know. I'm not an expert. You have to research that. I, I, I don't know. Now, what I was thinking about, if this is a leverage account, that means you're getting money. And uh, it's, it's like you're depositing money in your account, really, right? Now, is that... A problem is that means you have to 
Is that legal? I don't know. This is for future discussion, another subject. I have no idea. You, I haven't looked at that yet. Um, so, because I'm not an advisor or, or an expert or something, I'm just sh showing you what I'm using. Um, I hope I'm not getting in trouble. Um, if if I have to pay any tax, whatever, I'll, I'll have to pay for it. That's all. And I hope I don't have to pay for any uh, fees or or things like that. I have to find that out. But let's assume this is okay for now. All right, so let's go. Okay, so you, you choose the uh, SPL, SPL uh, which is the first one right here, and you add it. Let's say you want to add another one. Oh, there's another one that I, I didn't cover on the on the other tape that I have, on the other video that I have, that I made uh, about uh, last night, actually, yeah, 24 hours ago, was um, that I was talking about um, another uh, font like this one, that, uh, and I didn't give the name of it. The other one that I, that I was using was this, it's similar to the SNP, um, except that I think this one doesn't have um, uh, financial institutions. Just don't take my word for it. But I think it, it has a, some difference like that. They're different. They run different. Um, this one has is more tech um, stocks, but it doesn't. It's not fully. It's not techs. It, it has all, all kinds of industries. It's just some different industries. It's the Nasdaq. Um, see, and it's the first one. So you you click on it, and it will be it will appear in your list of things that you have ready. Okay, so let's move it to the top. See how it's different? This TQQQ went down a half a percent today, and the SPXL went down uh, 0.65 percent. But th that doesn't mean I lost money or anything, because I'm going to show you what happened today. Um, okay, so I covered the watch list. Once you say okay, I want to write. I'm gonna click on the on the second one there. You see the chart. The down here is, is the date. Uh, from from left to right, it's one day. If I click 5D, that's five days. Today is the 15th or 14th. Today is the 14th. Uh, like I said, it's 10 10 p.m. Uh, one month. See, in one month it went up 17.58%. It's about 1% a day. <laughs> All you have to do, because um, I'm trying to grow 1% a week just by buying it a month ago and selling it today. It's already 17.58%. And we're trying to do 60% uh, a year. See how easy it is? You didn't have to do anything. Just buy it and sell it, and you have it already. You have it made. Uh, very easy. One year, one year is 21%. 20, 20, uh, it's not enough. See, it doesn't make it. To, um, if you leave, if you buy for a year, because what happens is that um, it goes up, up, up. See February, and then from February it starts going down, and you you made nothing. So you have to do some buying and selling. You can't just buy it and that's it, because you you won't you won't make the sixty percent. 
you see one year and look in one year you're negative 25 so uh, you can't just buy it and expect that it's gonna work on its own you have to buy it when it's low and then sell it when it's high and buy it back when it goes down again and uh, that is explained on the other video I'm on I'm this video I'm covering this software how it works five years now five years it, it takes five years to make 69 percent the average is 22 percent I ask Bing and it says that the average is 22 percent which is very true see in a long 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 run 22% that's what happens what's 22 times 5 is um, 11 yeah it should have been a hundred percent but it's not because it dropped on the last the last year it was bad 2022 was horrible as you see terrible 22, 2022 was a good year for keeping the money in the bank, and that's it. Not even in the bank because it was inflation. Uh, so invest in some, something else like gold, maybe. <clears throat> okay. Um, it's funny because gold didn't go up that much during that year. And uh, the only thing that went up was, I guess, it was real estate in some places, not everywhere. Okay, doc. Let's go back to the one day. Now, if you click on the maximize icon, see where it says all there, right here. Oops, I gotta keep put that circle there because my phone locked up again and I had to start all over again. Okay, I'm gonna click that and I get a, a, a big view of the uh, chart. Um, I'm trying to think, because <laughs> I'm this is the fourth time that I'm making this video. Uh, it gets getting cut off or canceled or things like that. Anyway. Where are we here? I'm trying to think what I covered and what I didn't cover. I'm on one day, so you change it to um, 30 minutes. And you have to set up these two things on the bottom. And the way to do that is to click on the three dots down here. See where this little pencil down, down where it's in menu or right about menu, it says three dots. Click on the three dots. Now, uh, you go to the alert management, right there, and you're going to add alerts by clicking the, see this blue dot down on the bottom right, right side? You click on it and you can add an alert. And you set the condition. And the the last one is the RSI. Um, I believe, if I'm not wrong, is that I didn't come with the RSI there. I had to add it. I'm trying to think how I added it. Don't remember anything. Um, let's close this. I think you go, doesn't matter. Okay, so you know that this is how you add it right here. Basically, you just go here. And you and you add it. You go to alert management, 
and you added oh i see i remember okay before what i'm doing is in the wrong sequence you have to set the rsi here and the iatr these two uh, charts at the bottom see that's the atr oops and that's if you click and hold something a menu comes out on this one like you press on the screen and you hold it another thing comes out um, so see down down below where it says 14 and 12 and 16 that's the time you can this time doesn't come set correctly you have to set the time zone on it and you have to choose exchange for this one so you know when the new york um, stock exchange opens and close but you can put any time you want it took me a while to figure that out but i i figured it out on my own <laughs> i asked and bing and this and that and i couldn't figure it out okay so um so you click on the three dots down on the bottom and before you go to alert what you have to do is oh you can name the you can save this layout let's save it because chart was saved let's do that again I have the unnamed um, setting you can load and I can load the unnamed perfect I wanted to do that now I, I even I'm figuring things out as I go okay let's go let's click on the three dots make sure we click on the three dots because if you don't click on the three dots and you click on the little sun uh, circle there that is right above this, this it comes up with a different uh, menu and this menu is for setting the um, the graph um, It has different settings for the graph, like like the numbers on the right, the numbers on the bottom. You can change it to a logarithm scale and things of that sort. And you can change this as a percentage. Let's change the percentage. So I think I can see that. You see that the price is 75, 50, uh, 75, 74. Let's change it to percent. That way you can I can explain things better so you click here and you change the percent now this is great because this shows you that this chart went from negative two and a half to one uh, percent that means there is a change of three and a half percent total so if you were to buy or sell it or uh, short it short means you're making money on the way down there is a way to do that i'm gonna explain it uh, so let's say you have a trigger on whew, it's hard to explain without having a pointer here um, how can I say it? See where it says 8 a.m. That that's when the alarm went off, and there was this point all the way up there. Point uh, all the way. The purple thing was way up there. Um, That was a time where I could buy. I actually went off at eight, and it went off at eight thirty. I just don't see what happened. Oh, eight thirty was this second half hour. It went. 
Okay, so I see what's happening. This shows at 8.30. Uh, see, see this line right there? Perfect, that's 8.30. Um, what happens is that it went all the way up. You see how high it was? When it was all the way up there, it sent me a, a signal saying that it went way up there. So this purple line was way up there. But then it went down. And it ended way down there. So on the graph, on the purple graph uh, on the bottom, you see that it's low. <clears throat> but it wasn't low all the time. It was higher <coughs> at the beginning. And then it dropped. So that was the time to buy it. 8.30 was the time where when this stock was, oh, actually sell it because it's it's overbought. Um, that was the time to sell, but I didn't have any to sell. However, what I could have done was to make money on the way down. But I chose not to do it. I didn't see that much of a price uh, uh, race or, or going up so much so I, I ignored it I ignored it however later on on the day uh, it went down all the way here ha, all, okay so on the second time around that time right the graph went up again but it was really high up there and I thought well this is time to sell or short and that would have been a good one that would have been a good one if i would have short or when it was way up there and I, on the way down i could have gone from see where it says three percent all the way down big chance to go all the way down to negative or half so that's three and a half percent going down whatever if you if you put twenty thousand bucks or, or let's say you have fifty thousand or a hundred thousand dollars how much is that that's three thousand dollars no nine thousand dollars so somebody that has a hundred thousand bucks could have made three thousand uh, nine thousand dollars uh in half of a day from 9 30 in the morning market opening to to 1 1 p.m. in if in a few hours could have made uh, that much let's say you make you don't make 9000 when 9000 was the maximum let's say you you saw here because you thought oh man i think it's going to go up right now you said there, well, you made 4000 instead of 9000 <laughs> um, You have to follow the, the blue line or the bottom. I mean, the purple line all the way here. You see all the way uh, down there, it says 1230. That's when you sell or when you stop shorting or when you buy. I could have bought there. If I would have bought there, I would have made all the way to two. two and a, there was a chance to make two and a half percent there. But my goal is to make one percent a week. So there was another chance there uh, to buy it and sell it. Or buy it and keep it and sell it uh, on, on uh, today's Friday, on Monday. That way you don't waste a, a day trade. That was good. That was a good time to buy. The way you buy it is, I, the way I buy it is, I set a price, uh, and if it gets all the way down to where the price that I set, which is low, uh, it gets bought. If it doesn't reach that point, I have to guesstimate, guesstimate it. I just miss it. I miss the opportunity and I wait for the next one.
because there is plenty of opportunities as you can see here so there was a chance to make three percent on the way down two percent on the way up that's five percent and then there was a chance to make some money here in the morning that's another one or two percent there i will surely that's like two percent i think it goes from one percent to three percent that's two percent one and a half percent right there so we're looking at a chance to make six percent there buying it and selling it now we we touch the subject of buying and selling um there is a law here in the in the united states where you can buy and sell if you don't have twenty five thousand dollars in your account you're only allowed to buy and sell the same stock three times a week so so if i'm gonna do that i have to make sure that i, I say that for mistakes when i buy something and it starts going down it's good to be able to sell it right away right um uh, I'm going to tell you what happens if you don't follow that rule, which is, you'll see. <laughs> um, uh, okay, it's getting late. Time is it? 1024. Um, this is recording, right? Yeah, it's 31 minute long video. Yeah, I'm a little tired. Okay, so... What am I saying? The uh, I'm talking about the day trades. It's called day trade. You're you're buying and selling on the same day. Um, let's say you buy something and it starts going down. You start losing money, so you wanna you wanna sell it. You buy it, it starts going down. You don't want to stay there anymore you sell it okay fine the government says yeah you can do that we give you three chances in one week so in a, in a period of one week you can only do that three times uh, on the eighth day it gets uh, the first one that you did gets uh, deleted so you can you can start you can do another one on the eighth day but not on the th seventh day Um, yeah, it's five days, five training days a week. So uh, when I say seven days, I included Saturday and Sunday. So on a Monday, you, you do a day trade. On a Tuesday, you do another one. I'm giving an example. And on Wednesday, you do another one. That's it. On Thursday, on Wednesday, you cannot do any more. If you do a day trade, you will be marked as a day trader and you won't be able to make any more day, day trades until you deposit $25,000 in your account. <coughs> That's how the law works uh, in the US. So, that's day trading. You can look it up and find out more about it. I'm just telling you the very basics, what ba what things you need to learn. Um, so if you do this and you make 1%, you're going to be using a day trade. But if you buy, let's say, see where it says negative 0.5%, if I would have bought there, I could have kept it and sell it on Monday or on Tuesday, depending on how, how it goes. And that's not a day trade. You can do that. And you also and I also could have made the one percent on Monday and I'm done for the week. Simple as that. Because this goes up and down. Right? Now if I buy it at uh, where it says negative 0.5, whatever price that is. Uh, it could be 74 or whatever. Doesn't matter right now. Uh, let's change that. Let's change it. Let's change it. Let's change this put regular. 
there. Uh, buy it at 73.2, 73.1, whatever that is the low. Uh, actually, I can show the low and the high. I, I don't know why it just disappears. Oh, look at that. Nice. How did I do that? Oh, I'm dragging on the price. Let me hold the price down and see what happens. Oh my God, this comes up. And this is a nice software, very nice. Labels, labels. High and low price labels, you can turn it on. And that shows you the low was 73 and the high was 75. I could buy um, $2,000 worth of the stock that is 73, you just divide and you get what you get. How many how many shares it is, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, and then you sell them when they're high. Uh, but see the high, it happened before. Huh? So if you would have bought them at 73, I could have sold them at 75, no more than that. See right there, right there. That's around 75. Let me zoom in and zoom out. Oh, wow, this is amazing. Whoa, <laughs> this is really nice. Nice app. <laughs> and you can also click all the way up there where it says USD and change it to another something else. To Bitcoin. <laughs> Brazilian. Ah, those have Bitcoin. Or maybe those and I can't find it. What's it for for Bitcoin? Okay, you can't put in Bitcoin. <laughs> Argentine pesos. That's the same stock, same graph, same percent, but it's showing all oh, oh, 16,000. That's how much it costs over there in Argentina, 16,000 bucks. Okay. Uh, put it as favorite. There, dollars. Ooh, the scale changed. Ah, huh, it gets fixed. See, it got fixed right, right away. Wow, what a nice software. Well, anyway. Um, the, see the MA here? Um, see that? I'm going to click out so you can see what I'm talking about. MA is a moving average. It's a yellow line down there. I... I read a book and I'm using the MA200, which is an aver a good average price uh, based on the last 200 days. So if your graph keeps going up and up and up, this is going to go up very slowly. It's very smooth graph. Very smooth graph. And I like to buy things that are above this line. Um, <laughs> it means the stock is alive, right? It's not dying and dying and dying for a year or something like that. Uh, actually, this is MA200 for 200 half an hour. Yeah which is a hundred hours. A hundred hours during the... Uh, 
No, during the trading hours of uh, prior uh, pre-market and post-market, after-market, including all that. That's what it is. You can take those out if you want to, and it will change the graph. That would be interesting to compare it with and without it. What does the MA look like, including the after hours and, and not uh, during the hours? Uh, okay, there. This is funny. Okay, I can I can set the auto scale or not, or leave it the way it is. I like it that you can adjust it, move it up and down, and it stays on the same. Uh, a scale. Look how how low it was back then. Huh? Look at this down. Whoa! It went from sixty eight all the way down to sixty four in just one day but I mean he went straight down when was that? was that in March or February? Hey. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20 29, 30 yeah that was in March March 9 but look what happened the day after went back up So that was the big panic, but then it went back up overnight. And then during the day, the day after, boom, down again. Interesting, I'm gonna change the scale here. If I change the scale, it doesn't look like that gets too much. Okay, and so there is this uh, down on the bottom, this red graph, it's the ATR. Um, you can also, you can put the ATR or not, you can take it off if you don't use it. Um, it's just for me, um, ATR means average uh, um, true range, which is the range, not the price, like the MA, which is an average of the price. This is um, an average. 14 day or 14 bar average of the range the range means uh says point two it it changed it changes point two from the lowest to the highest in the half in that half an hour on each half an hour and if you average them on the last 14 of them that, and you get a number and boom it plots it that's that's what it means uh, so it gives you an idea when when it's becoming more uh, I don't want to give you more words more terms but it becomes more uh, changing more uh, more of a gap between the lowest and the highest price in, in one half of an hour in 30 minutes um so there's more action i guess i guess it goes pretty similar to the volume right see the volume more volume more atr less volume okay i locked it oh it's doing an aromatic scale on the on the volume I didn't want that. See this day, this day there in the middle that, that has a lot of uh, volume, and the ATR is high. And the day prior, the ATR was low, and it has less volume. So the more volume and the more ATR the more of a chance you have so to make uh, money this is going to be changed unless it just goes down 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 right 
trying to expand this a little bit. See that it went from 72 was the lowest and 74 was the high. Don't worry that the highest is on the beginning and the lowest on the on the bottom because you, what you can do is just um, change the this SPSL to to SP. So if in the morning it's really, really high and you know that it's going to go down, you change to SPX S, which is short. And so you see the this short graph is the, is the opposite. On that day, uh, it's low in the morning and then it goes up towards the end of the day. So you can make money that way too. Um, okay, that, that covers it for for this app. This is a very long video. Uh, RSI, so let's go back to the RSI, it's something that you have to look, look up. Ah, uh, the RSI, let's look at this. When you set up the, the RSI, you have to set it like this. RSI length, three time frame, 30 minutes. Set it exactly like I have it. Type is SMA, which means simple moving average. Don't get complicated, simple moving average. Oh, the, this is for the MA. MA is moving average, um, which I don't use it. Um, I'm going to make it less. Three. Okay, see what happens. Oh, we're going to compare the moving average to the RSI. Oh, that's interesting. Let's see? Oh, they see how the graphs are, are pretty similar. Oops, cancel. They follow each other. Except the moving average can keep going up, 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 up. But this um, uh, relative RSI stays in this range. It doesn't keep creeping up, 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 or down, 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 down. That's the difference between the uh, between them. That's interesting. Okay, so the yellow line on the bottom is the, an average of the price, and the RSI, which is very, very similar, is just, it can only go from zero to 100, and it's, a, it's some sort of a, an average. You it, it just have to look at the formula, and it's an indicator of oversold and overbought. I'm just, I just don't get why. If you look at the graph, it looks at the graph, it starts going down, 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 and the average, and the moving average stays on the same range on the bottom. I don't know why. Let me see. Let me see if I can figure it out. What is this three dots on there? Oh, I can save it as a fault. Yes. Boom. Oh, yeah. So I have the default. You, you can do that too. Save Once you have this set correctly, you can save it as the default. This is for the colors style. Visibility. 
I'm not sure what that is. I think that it shows you a clock uh, when the market is open. Uh, how long it, each bar it takes for the bar to finish and start a new one. It shows you a, a time. This this is new to me. Uh, what else here? Okay, so that's that's all I'm gonna say about RSI. There's more data on the internet. The alarm. Did I cover how to set the alarm or not? Okay, so you have to set these two first. Once you set these two, you can do the alarm. You click on the three dots on the bottom and go to the alert management. And you can just click plus, make a new one. Let's see the extreme one. Can I edit it? Well, at least you can copy it from there. Oh, I was going to say the alert log. Alert log. It shows you when it was triggered. 8.04 a.m., 8.30, and then for 4.42. I also have another alarm. It, it got triggered. We're going to see why. Almost 5 o'clock it got triggered. Let me see. What happened at five o'clock? Not sure. Why did it get triggered at five o'clock? So I don't understand. Maybe that was a false alarm. I can I can look at the one minute graph. No no idea. For some reason it got triggered. Okay. I can change the colors. I think I wanna put it I wanna put purple where the yellow is and the yellow is where the purple is let's go to settings click on the gear visibility no star rsi c is purple let's make that yellow where's yellow down here up here and this one purple but it's okay Right. So now the RSI is yellow here. Great. Oh, save it as it fault. Oh. How did I do it? No, I didn't go there. Oh, here. There was the fault. Okay, that way I don't lose things and I have to start all over again. Okay. Um, RSI, when it's basically the alarm, what happens is that when it gets triggered, when it passes the 90 and the 10, it means it was way oversold or way overbought. And it's a good chance that people are going to realize, wait a minute, why are we buying this? I'm scared. I don't think it's going to go up anymore. And then it turns around and goes down again. And the same thing when they they start selling, 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 and selling, selling, selling. And like, wait a minute, we're selling it too much. It's like, and then they start buying again, and it goes up, up, up again. It doesn't happen like that all the time. It can be that. <clears throat> but this is a good indicator that tells you 
when it basically reaches the uh, oversold point. Okay. I don't know what else to say. It just works. You see, see this one right here in the middle, which is 12. That was a nice place to buy, but it didn't go up that much. Overnight didn't, but look at the next day. You see 1% there? I see it. Let's change the view to a percentage view. How do you do that, remember? Click here. What did I do? Oh, you hold it down. Percent. Ah, there is. This is the bear one, okay? This is not the bull. I see that day there. 12. Where's this 12 in the middle? Uh, I can put the line here, there, from there, when the uh, RSI was low, it probably would have triggered there, because see the line, the little tail that goes all the way down, it probably would have triggered it, but then it got fixed, so on the graph down there, it's showing you the close, which is here, all the way up there, right? But it really was down, and it was probably triggered, so you would have had a chance to buy it way down here. You have to be quick. Um, yeah, always when you see a bar going down like that, it, it, it means that the next bar is usually changes direction usually especially when you have a tail like this that means it's been going up already but if you wait until it goes all the way up here you would have lost uh, a half a percent right there from this point to this point is half a percent so he I can't tell you to buy it here, but it would have been a good idea to buy it there. Or you let uh, you set uh, a price, and when it approaches that your price, boom, buys it. It keeps going down and it goes back up. Not always, it can keep going down, 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 down. Right. Then you have to have another one to sell, so you don't lose a lot of money. I'm not showing you how to buy and sell. This is not the purpose of this video. That will be another video. You can just imagine you know how to do that. <laughs> you just buy it online, let's put it that way. You go to your broker program or app and, and you buy it. They say and you have the money there and you just buy it. <clears throat> because the money is already there in the account. Your account can have uh, their money and your money. They duplicate whatever money you put. But it's not like you can uh, withdraw it <laughs> and cash it out. It's there just to buy uh, stocks. That's the only thing you can do with that money. Okay, so uh, I'm trying to figure out how much is from here to here. In one morning there, close to nine in the morning, nine to ten, uh, negative one point seven, all the way to one, more than one, over there. Oh, actually it went all the way over there, and it didn't even trigger there. It triggered all the way here. Ha! You had to wait all the way until three o'clock to sell it and it would have made 
two percent. So from negative negative one and a half to three percent, there was a four percent a, a chance to make four percent on that day. What was that yesterday? No, a few days back. Oh, I just figured out what the 14 and the 17 is. Is that the date? No, because today is 14. I don't know. Wait a minute. Hold it. No, no, no. No. It says 18, 19, 17. Oh, 17 is Monday. It's not 5 o'clock. Oh, see, I'm running. <laughs> so this is 7 p.m. and 17 is the date. That will be Monday. But there will be more space. Oh, I just figured it out. Oh, fools, I figured it out. <laughs> So that will be in the future, Monday. Um, so I lost the track of what I was saying. Okay, so this is the 14th, right? And this is the um, 13th. Oh, see the 13th down there? That's when the 13th starts starts in the middle of the night which is actually 4 a.m. in there this day I was looking so let's look at where the date starts says it, it was the 12th which is Thursday right no, Wednesday. So I see there right away that it says the low is 17 and the high goes up to 2%. Negative 2.5 to positive 2. It's 4% growth there. It's a chance to make 4% here. Wow. Another big chance there. See it re the purple line? All the way down, it reached the bottom trigger. Alarm goes off. You buy there low. Where's this low? You buy at seventeen fifty six. Uh, seventeen thousand. If you buy a thousand shares, that's seventeen thousand bucks, and then you sell it. Um, for seventeen thousand eight hundred. So if you invest seventeen thousand, you make from uh, five hundred, let's say six hundred to eight hundred. That's two hundred bucks. Not a lot, but close to 1%. Right there. Quickly and conveniently around 4, 3.30 to 4 o'clock in a half an hour. You have to also understand what the candles See the candle uh, string, and the, there is a string on the bottom and the top. 
Uh, now, if the candle is green, it means it open at the bottom and closed at the top of the candle. And and the string shows you the highest ever on that half an hour period and the lowest ever. We don't know which one happened first on this. If you want to see that, you have to break it up into minute by minute chart. So I'm saying, I'm just saying, oh yeah, you could have bought it at negative 0.8 instead of positive 0.2 and make 1%. You know that you could have done that from open to close. Now, the other part, I don't know. You have to buy it on the prior. You can buy it. Look, you can buy it at uh, seventeen point five six, or or something low like that on the prior candle. Because you don't know if it went down first or it went down after. Or maybe you do. I just can't think right now. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. Okay, great. I'm going to end it. Another hour. Okay, stop.